and gentlemen, what's going on guys? Today I want to talk about YouTube drama, and more specifically the drama between I Fly Illini and Raw Instinct. I guess I'm trying to see both points in this, and really I don't know if there's really a point to it. It's, it's hard to copy, it's hard to say you own the rights to specific material in Call of Duty, especially because Call of Duty copies Call of Duty. I mean, the last five games have basically been identical, so can we really say Call of Duty's original? Now how can we say Call of Duty comment commentaries are original commentators as well? It has been the same thing for five years, they're going to be the same thing for five years, there's lack of ideas. Look at the movie industry. When have you seen an original idea? There's not one. They're all sequels or adaptations. Every big movie. What's the big movie out right now? Dark Knight Rises. That's Batman. That's been out for years. Sent decades. Batman is nothing new. Moving on. How I feel about YouTube drama as a whole. In my opinion, I think it's drummed up all for um, to get more subscribers. You really think he cares that he steals his ideas? Maybe a little bit, but enough to make put that much in that much effort into a video if he doesn't think millions of people are gonna watch it look at all the big pe all the people talking about it you know I've seen Wings of Redemption make a video about it Wicked Shrapnel's made a video about it Only Use Me Blade you made a video about it and I'm sure if it wasn't past his bedtime Woody's Gamertag would have probably made a video about it <laughs> I'm sure there's plenty more commentators that I haven't seen yet but everybody's talking about it and you know what help the guy probably get a lot of views on it a lot more subscribers I subscribe to I fly a line I just for the sheer fact I don't know if I'll watch his videos but hey he got me to subscribe to him I don't know about Ryan's things but I mean I kind of watched some of his videos it wasn't that interesting I'm not really into the whole hit video I guess I, I put one out recently but it doesn't interest me that much the modern warfare 3 is a poor shit game so I don't care if I learn how to play it better um, I'm more interested in people talking about anything they really want to not so much about the gameplay yeah so I mean all the YouTube drama throughout the histories let's look at what else was there recently Minnesota Burns vs X Jaws that was wrecked X Jaws for a while he still gets a lot of hate for that and back in the day obviously Jesus vs Woody's gamer tag was about eight months ago. Kind of, I mean, that really went nowhere. It was obviously Jesus backed down, but still, he got. I remember seeing a tweet about it. He was getting 90,000 views a day off only having, I don't know how many subs he has. He has about 20,000 now, but I'm sure it helped him get a lot more subscribers. He got 90,000 views a day on some on a channel that little is quite impressive. So, I mean. It is all about drumming up a name for yourself. It is, you really, I don't think they care about the point they're trying to make. They're not trying to, I don't think they're trying to wreck somebody else's career. It is all trying to help yourself. There are two ways you can make a name for yourself in YouTube. Have a good comment or hate on somebody else's comment enough where they start fussing about it. So, wrapping up, I think it's all fake. They can get no, I don't know why I said that. I don't even like Ray William Johnson. I think he's kind of a money whore. But, you know what? I don't care. So, that is my opinion. I am sticking to it. Hope you enjoyed this gameplay of knifing. Not knifing. Infected. Shut up. <laughs> Bye.